How's it going Preston Outdoors fans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be putting on my new Minn Kota Altrex on the front of the Skeeter. If you're not familiar with trolling motors or anything like that, two years ago I think it was, uh, Minn Kota shocked the world in coming out with the new Altrex trolling motor. Um, spot lock was the, the biggest thing. Um, now the new version of the Altrex, it comes with iPilot or iPilot Link and this one, the newer one, comes in with the mega imaging, down imaging, excuse me, transducer built into the head of the trolling motor. This is the smaller version. There is, I can't remember the shaft size on there, but there's 112 pound thrust, 36 volt, which needs a 36 volt battery or three um, 12 volt batteries. I don't have room for that in the back of the Skeeter, so what I have here is a 52 inch shaft, 80, I think it's 80, 80 pound or 81 pound um, thrust trolling motor, and it's a 24 volt, so that way I can fit the batteries or whatever in the back of my boat. And it's the same setup as I have the Minn Kota Maxim on the front of the boat right now. It's an 81 pound thrust, 24 volt, 52 inch shaft. So my dad's gonna be coming over, and we're gonna go through. I'm gonna go through the box quick before he gets here, what's in it and stuff like that, and we're gonna put a video together of us installing it. Okay, when you get this thing, it comes in two different pieces. We have the shaft and the head unit connected to the foot pedal and then the beam I don't know the name for it but the actual aluminum arm that lifts it up and down it comes separate and there's going to be a trick and stuff to put this together instructions definitely going to be needing to look at these I'll leave a link up above when I try to put the hummingbird units on my boat it took forever. Didn't read the instructions, thought I could do it. Definitely needed help with that. Um, also in the bag, there's gonna be some screws, I think. What is this? Oh, this is the uh, the puck. Minn Kona navigational unit that you'll use for your um, navigation for the spot lock. That'll go on like last. Um, what else? Strap, that'll help you strap your trolling motor down in the stow position for travel. You got a lanyard, some Minn Kota stickers, and you got some washers and bolts that we'll definitely, definitely need. Also the, um, mounting arm or bounce buster recall this will help it from banging on the deck that'll be one of the other later things we'll put on all right here's what i'm looking for attached to the head unit we have a i don't know if you can see that a remote so you're gonna be able to drive this trolling motor with a remote as well as a foot pedal that'll be key when i'm Fishing walleyes or something you're trolling if I ever fish for walleyes out of here. Or I take people fishing and they want to be in the front of the boat, I can steer it with this. So, First order of business, we're going to have to take the Minn Kota Maxim trolling motor off. Everything I've read said that these holes will be um, line up since it's a Minn Kota product for the other, for the next trolling motor, the Altrex. So hopefully that will work. We're going to take this bad boy off and get the get it disconnected for the electronics and get the foot pedal off. Go from there. Be careful with this. Don't want to wreck this one. Why? If you don't sell, it might go to my boat.
we got the motor off here, got it all cleaned up. Next thing to do with this mono arm is there's a lift assist button that I'm gonna push and Dad's gonna yank it up. Okay, that's gonna get this thing up. We also have a um, piston or lift assist button there for the or arm for the main trolling motor. They say not to put this on yet until the trolling motor is fully mounted and secure because if you don't have the trolling motor attached to the mono arm, then it could cause some, some damage here. But on top of this, there is a little Allen head screw. So we're gonna take that off, take the bag and parts and stuff off with it. And then we're gonna attach the main shaft of the trolling motor to this whole bracket. All right, what we did is this bracket was on the side and you can only see the holes from here and they weren't gonna line up on the boat itself until we tipped this whole thing up and looked underneath. So then what dad said we do, take the side bracket off here and now these holes are gonna line up to the original holes from the old um, Minn Kota Maxim we had on there. We're also gonna be using these, uh, what'd you call them? Rubber spacers? Yeah, rubber mounts. Rubber mounts, because, and is there a nut underneath there? Yes. So there's a nut built in underneath there, so these things will actually catch. So we don't have to use, we'll use these bolts or whatever, but we don't have to use the washers and we don't have to use the locking nuts underneath the boat itself. So we won't have to go up underneath there and do this because they're already mounted like that. So if you have an older trolling motor, um, then like what we did in the videos I watched, they never talked about um, taking the side bracket off because all the videos you watch, they're putting them on new boats. Well, this is putting them on an existing boat. So this should fit the original Minn Kota pattern that they have. Uh, you just might have to take this side bracket off here, which is just four screws on there. So now we're gonna get, we got it all lined up here. We wanna make sure we got it lined up before we put the, the shaft and everything else on. What size is that? It is a quarter inch. Get everything pretty well lubed up in here. So then that piece in the bag is gonna be the spacer, two black spacers and two screws. That's gonna go on the either side of that lift assist. Got this shaft attached back there with that Allen head screw. Come on, muscles. Brains over muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all those screws in there nice and tight. So then what I did is put the side plate on and attach these four screws on there now. So now we, uh, I messed up earlier. We're not supposed to put that um, lift assist arm on here until now everything's bracketed down and molded down. So now we're gonna put the, the lift assist arm on. So what I got here now is that little arm, the little piece that connects with the one spacer and the two spacer and comes with those two little screws. So what I'm gonna do is screw this into the end and then we're gonna put one spacer on right here, slide it in and attach the other spacer on the other side through that lift assist arm. All right, now you can see here, the bar is through. We got one spacer on one side. Here we got the other spacer on the other side. The bar runs in between the two spacers and the shaft. And we also have our one screw on this side and another screw on the other side. So now our lift assist arm is attached to the mono arm, which is attached to the trolling motor shaft. So now what we're gonna be doing is attaching the bounce buster or stabilizing arm here for the actual trolling motor. Um, it came with this piece screwed on here and the pole is gonna be extra long. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna mount this bracket to these two holes here on the trolling motor or you can mount them here on the outside on the gunnel we're not going to mount them on the outside we're going to mount them on the inside hopefully in the future i'll be able to get a 
360 imaging transducer that will be going on here. So we're going to put the bounce buster bracket here first and then we're going to show you how we're going to measure it to cut it down to size. Okay, those are then we measure up three quarters of an inch above the bracket. We took this pole and the threaded end is down there, tipped it upside down, took the butt cap end off up here, measured three quarters of an inch above the bracket itself and then we're going to cut that off and we're going to use this half of it. So we got the arm attached, we got it cut down there and then you can take the butt cap up here and you can put it back on top. Also, if you need a little bit more play as if this is moving too high or whatever, what you can do is you can screw down the arm which puts it down more and then you screw this black piece up to tighten it back up if you cut it or have it just a little bit short. So you can play with that. This thing has got threads so it allows it to snug back up there. And the next step we're going to have to do is we're going to mount this little guy, the heading sensor that is the key to the spot lock abilities. So now we're going to be putting in the heading sensor puck that operates our jog function. It's going to connect Bluetooth via Bluetooth to the Ultrax head there. So we've um, established, it's kind of a mess up here, but we established this is where we're going to have our foot pedal. The helix unit I have up front is over there. We don't want anybody stepping on it and stuff like that. So we're going to put it up here. We're going to drill a little bitty hole, run these two uh, wires through it. We've identified a positive and negative that we're going to connect it to. And there we go. Yeah. There we have our puck installed, drilled a little bitty hole, ran the wires through, like I said, everything is up underneath here, soldered um, together now. And the last part of our install is we're gonna put the prop on the head of the trolling motor. So if you read the instructions here that come on the base of the trolling motor head, you're gonna discard this red washer and you're gonna discard this um, spacer that they have all the instructions you need for putting the prop on the proper way make sure you read this little thing and then don't just rip it off right away because we'll have all the instructions for you prop is all attached ready to go we just plugged in the power and let's see if it works got everything wired in okay we noticed if you hit hit the power button down nothing happens well, let's deploy it here Trolling motor so smart. Make sure it doesn't hit the trailer. There you go. I got it. Once it gets down, now turn it. It works only when it's deployed. Everything's installed for the Ultrix itself, along with the um, puck. We don't have the trolling motor plate or foot pedal mounted yet, so we haven't decided if we're going to leave it like that or if we're gonna put in a recess foot pedal ourselves. So that's kind of the install of the Mint Coat Ultrix. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you learned something in this video. I learned a lot. I'm not very technical savvy when it comes to tools and all that stuff I can get by. But I wanna give a big shout out to my dad for coming over. Um, I held the camera for most of it. He did most of the work and in installing and stuff. So, I mean, it was a huge, huge help could have done it it would have taken me a lot longer than what it took us and i would have probably messed something up but i want to give a huge shout out to him hope you guys learned something if you haven't already subscribed to the channel we're going to have some more um technical videos on the altrex and installing um with the di unit and stuff to the graph and some installing stuff on how to now the next step is to calibrate the altrex um to spot lock and stuff like that so those are going to be in a couple videos we need to get on some open water before we can do that but until then subscribe to the channel check me out on facebook and instagram thanks for watching hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time i upload another video thanks for watching tune in next time to Preston outdoors